in the International Advanced Diploma on fundraising around the world now. And I challenge you in front of 90 other extremely smart people, can you use smiley faces in your DM? <laughs> Real, shall we? Can you or can you not use smiley faces in your DM? Finally, one brave person shaking her head. When I was reading the participation list, yes, you can. We can't use a role. You, you can't. You can use one, but you can't use the role. One person shaked her head, and the other person said, it depends. And that's beautiful. That's exactly how academic research should be used. You have to be the gatekeeper. You have to ask yourself, am I tr treating my donors or my beneficiaries as victims or as survivors? Am I trivializing human suffering? Can I possibly put even one smiley face when I'm emailing people with cancer. Is that ethically acceptable? And then you say, may people feel genuinely empowered from supporting us. Am I doing the right job in raising money? And then you ask, may people feel genuinely proud raising money for us from just giving? Would they be proud? What kind of happiness is it that I should instill in my donors so I can proudly say I instilled happiness in my fellow humans, I felt proud of myself because that is why I chose to be a fundraiser. This is love in my profession. That's your final gatekeeping in applying and creating academic knowledge. And once you've done that, <coughs> you've got evidence from Sarah saying, actually, individual fundraisers in Just Giving generate the kind of donor behavior that professional fundraisers generate. So you have the confidence that, yes, the platform might be new, but we're dealing with the same group of humans. And you have Kim to tell you that when you are absolutely squared, with your fundraising proposition. Effectiveness and efficiency are exactly the same thing, but you have to be squared with your fundraising proposition. Money has to be used for specifically specified purpose. And then you have Beth to tell you, you know that professional ethics that the founder of our profession told you about 100 years ago? is practiced in the best of the best fundraisers. And you have Alex telling you, guess what? If you don't do that, people find all the excuses to lie. And if that's not enough from Alex, he's got the Einstein hair. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, Michael used a personal experience of funding every possible person that could give him a job, give him a group a brand, give him a career by saying, we don't know if in this particular situation it has to be done this way, it takes tests. But it takes us together, academics and fundraiser, who think we put our love into what we do to create the just the right test. So would you please, by butting me today, so we can generate something genuinely exciting in internet and just giving. And why it is so genuinely exciting? Because for the first time in human history, happiness and love may be created and spread with the power of one person, millions of clicks in less than one day. How are you going to treasure that privilege? So here's my ask of you, and we all know as fundraisers, unless the ask is specific, you don't get anything. <laughs> so by, by taking one action, based on what you heard today, with love in your job, tomorrow at
at night. Well, maybe Monday. Okay, fine. <laughs> Monday. Sarah is satisfied. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> and finally, thank you for your patience to let me let me finish. The text is done through your generosity. So how we learn by butting me with hard questions starting from now. Thank <laughs> you.